Hello, husband. Hello, wife. So we're about to um, entomb the log burner and then start finding. taken us a while to get here. Um, loads and loads and loads of prep work, but I am finally about to start painting, which I'm very excited about. in the cows. It's been a beautiful day. Last day of the year. 14 bloody degrees. It's mental. Yeah, it's very warm, isn't it? Well, we're painting. Let's go have a look at my cladding. Do, do, do. Yeah, me. How's the hits going on? Day three of being back on on the. That's alright. I, I wasn't talking to the camera or anything. It's like an action shot. <laughs> Toby's got the the hits all down this side. Um, I've been painting today. It feels like I've got very little to show for an entire day, but we did have stuff going on today. Still got uh, second coat to go on one side of the doors and first and second coat to go on the other side. We've still got all the draw liners to do. All the drawers that are staying or being converted uh, all have to be cut off and prepped. The floor needs screws all put in it, which is what Toby's doing at the moment. Well, no. No, because he's been asked to stop because he's making a noise. A <laughs> he's having a pit stop. Um, all of the accent trims around the windows need to be cut and painted. Um, we've got fans that still need to go in. And more importantly, I've still got all of this to paint. Three coats of it, nonetheless. And then once I've done in here, all the stuff that needs to be done, I've still got this all to do. Which is a little bit terrifying. I am feeling a bit daunted. We've still got so much to do. Second of January, yeah, little um, little bit frustrating. Um, I have been painting now solidly for four days. I mean, it's really satisfying to see the sauna sort of gradually disappearing and the light coming in here. But at the same time, it's really time consuming. I don't want anyone to think that doing DIY is just like what you see on TikTok, where it's like a 
and it's like done. It doesn't work that way. So I'll stay in the cabin for a while and today that ceiling is gonna go. And then I was a bit worried about the color. I've painted the units in the gray that we're having, which is around 7047. But I was a little bit worried that it was all gonna look a bit of, um, a little bit too gray everywhere, but I kind of didn't want it to be white. And I thought in the summertime, when this is flooded with light, it could actually be a bit glaring. So I went for the same color on the walls and I've painted my first bit there yesterday and I'm actually quite pleased with it. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm gonna go for it. I'm, I may do the floor in white just to freshen it up a bit. With the darker windows, it looks really nice. It went on beautifully. So the primer coat is always the hardest coat because it just sucks in all of the paint. So yeah, I'm hoping, ha ah, please, that the second coat will go on a lot quicker. This is very exciting, look at this. Old drawers, hang on, let me just show you what, the, what they used to be like, because this one is like, uh, they get stuck. And I, that's a very good demonstration, because I can't close it. This one over here, And then in here, oh yeah. So we now have drawers, which is really cool. Cause this is literally like our old kitchen at home, isn't it? And we are about to start putting the first coat of paint on the ceilings. The walls have all had, apart from this one behind me, the walls have all had their first coat of finished color. So hopefully by the end of this weekend, we're, we're gonna aim to try and get the second coat on. Once that's done, we pretty much can move back in, can't we? I need to put this down now because we need to get on with doing some painting.